It just so happens Coleman CEO Nancy Brinker and Planned Parenthood President Cecile Richards have Texas roots, but Tribune editor Emily Ramshaw says the state's connection to the women's health battle goes beyond the recent flap between these two organizations. There are two other big things that are going on in Texas. And both are targeted at Planned Parenthood. After a month-long legal battle, the state is now enforcing a controversial law passed last session that requires doctors to perform sonograms on women seeking abortions at least 24 hours before before the procedure, they'll have to play the heartbeat and describe the fetus. There's also an ongoing standoff over whether to continue the federal women's health program in Texas. Which is a program that operates in Texas to provide uh, birth control, um, well woman exams for you know many low income Texas women. Uh, Texas lawmakers have asked the feds if they can exclude Planned Parenthood from that program. The feds have said no thanks. And, you know, Texas lawmakers have basically said, well, you know, we're going to call your bluff. We're going to play chicken. You know, we don't really want this program if we can't exclude Planned Parenthood from it. The cutoff could occur as early as March 31st. We have a Republican majority legislature. We have an extremely well. pro-life governor. And basically that creates sort of the perfect storm for folks who really want to support crisis pregnancy centers and want to do everything in their power to make Planned Parenthood, which provides abortions in some of its clinics, but none that receive state or federal funding. You know, they really just want to wipe them off the map altogether. In Austin with your Capital Buzz, this is Tan Tan with the Texas Tribune.